Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, happy Friday, by the way. You've made it through another week. And I actually just wanted to share a few words with you this morning about uh, attitude. I was on my way to the office this morning to get ready for another day. And, of course, I was thinking over the things I had to do during the day and thinking how the week went. And it's interesting because I found myself at one point kind of leaning towards being a little negative about a few things that were going on. And I really just wanted to uh, both encourage you and encourage myself about a few things I've learned about attitude. You know, it's interesting that a lot of people think that an attitude is something you uh, are born with or something that's inherent in your nature. You always meet those people that seem to be always positive and you think, why in the world can I not be that person and just be naturally positive? And it may be true that some people do lean a little bit more that way, but as I've read and met with people over time, I find that it's definitely more of a decision than anything else, that your attitude is something that you can control. And in our world where things are constantly hitting us uh, in terms of information and misinformation and on-demand data and trying to deal with all the things that we have to deal with on a, on a daily basis, it can be so easy to walk a fine line between being positive or being negative, and that can change very, very quickly. And so what I find, and I try to remind myself often, is that it really comes down to, to two different types of decisions. First of all, you have to recognize that your attitude is, in fact, a decision. And once you recognize that, you can really start to take control of how your attitude is on a daily basis, even on an hourly basis or on a minute-by-minute -minute basis, because it can change that fast, as we all know. But what it comes down to, uh, and it really ties into a lot of different life lessons in, in different areas, such as business and marketing and sales and friendships, though, it's the difference in being proactive or reactive. And so there are a lot of things in life that you can't control. Actually, the majority of things in life you can't control. One of the few things you can control is how you react to your circumstances and situations. And that's really what it comes down to in, your, in terms of your attitude is understanding that you have a choice to be proactive, take control of your attitude, and, and choose to be positive and upbeat and motivated and uh, headed in the right direction, or you can choose to be reactive. And that means you can react to the things that are happening to you and let them dictate what your attitude is going to be. So what I want to do encourage you about is just to understand and be proactive on an hourly basis, maybe even for a couple of hours of sitting back and saying, listen, uh, an hour went by and I want to look at what's going on and see if I'm being proactive, taking control of my attitude and really uh, choosing the attitude I want to have for the rest of the day, or am I being reactive and I'm, am I reacting to other people's scenarios and uh, types of things that are going on in work and life and friendships. And, it's, not a, it's definitely not a science where it's going to work out all the time. There are times when you're going to have a, a down attitude or a negative attitude. But I, I definitely have found over the last few years that the more I recognize that my attitude is in my own control, the better off I'm going to be because it's so simple to let everything affect you rather than taking control of your scenario, choosing the attitude you're having, and going forward with that positivity in mind. And it drastically affects everything you're going to do and work in uh, your relationships. Those are very, very important aspects of your life. So I just want to encourage you and myself this morning as we get to the end of another week to take a step back sometimes from what you're doing. See what attitude you've chosen because you do choose your attitude. And if it's a, going in the negative direction, choose to go towards that positive, uh, positive uh, attitude. And I, I guarantee you it's a very fine line because it's so easy to cross over from positivity into negativity. Don't let that happen. There's no reason to go through life with a negative attitude, even on a day-by-day -day basis. So I hope you have a great Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, definitely uh, live a life of purpose on purpose, uh, which ties into everything we're talking about here about attitude. Have a great weekend.